Hi, I'm Ms. Fung. Let's have a look at quartic and other polynomial functions. Here we have y equals ax to the power 4. And it can be written in the point of inflection format or turning point format from quadratics, that same setup, or it can be written as four intercepts, or it can be written a combination of turning point intercept intercept, where the turning point is on the x-axis, or turning point and turning point, or a point of inflection and just an x-intercept because it's power of four. So what do these look like? So that one is a quartic going through the origin. That one is the quartic going through the um, point of inflection at hk. And you can see that it looks like a parabola with a much flatter base. That one four things, so it actually cuts through four times. And it's an even um, graph, like a quadratic, or the power is four. So we can see that it starts at the top and it ends at the top. So a positive graph is like a smile, like a quadratic. Whereas a cubic, remember it's like a linear, positive means going up like a linear or negative going down. Uh, turning point, intercept, intercept. So you see there's a turning point there, an intercept and an intercept. Whereas this one is point of reflection and intercept. So point of reflection and intercept. And here we have um, two turning points and I've put in a negative one just to show you what negative looks like. So two turning points, negative looks like a sad face or going downwards. Let's do an example. Example one, x minus three to the power four minus one. So it's a positive graph because x times x times x times x is positive. And it has been moved to the right by three and down by one. So the turning point will be hk or three minus one. Whereas the x-intercept is when y equals zero. Um, and we can solve for that. So bring the one over, then um, what times what times what is one, that's still one. So plus or minus one, okay? And then bring the three over, we have three plus one or three minus one. Or in other words, four and two. So the intercepts are four and two. And the point of inflection is three minus one. Example two. So here we have something that looks pretty scary. It's okay, we can factorize it. And then we can look at the y and x intercept. But before we factorize, we notice that the y-intercept, when x equals zero, all that goes is just the last number over there, 10. Now using the CAS, if you've forgotten, um, it's just a factor in action. Actually, I'll just show you really quickly. So you would use the calculator to um, factor, and this is a sequence of buttons you would press and type in your equation. So you'll get something that looks like that. And so the x-intercepts is plus or minus, different two, 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 sorry, difference of two squares, so plus or minus square root of five, minus one, and positive two. So the intercepts are using difference of two squares is plus or minus square root of five, and then minus one and positive two. So our graph looks like four intercept, and it's a positive graph, so the Look for the biggest term, x to the power 4 is positive, so the graph is positive. And then 4 intercepts and a y-intercept. Let's do another example. Oh, I started sketching already, ignore that. But we can see that here we have x equals 0 is an intercept. x minus 4, so the 4 is also an intercept. But the 2, for x minus 2, it's got a square, so that part there is going to be a turning point. So when we sketch this, we first look at is there a positive or negative graph? x times x is positive times x times x is also positive. So it's going to look like that. But this is a turning point there. So when you go through here, you can go through that first dot. But when we get to this dot, you have to turn and then finish off. Just like so. Let's do another example. This time it's negative, so we know that it's going to be like so. But also check, 
x times x times x times x is positive times negative is negative so you always look for x to the power 4 or the highest and see if it's positive or negative that will tell you if the graph is positive or negative so here we have a negative graph and we have an intercept and we have a point of inflection so oh just a typo with a corner just a comma ignore that so at negative 1 we have an intercept so we have to go through that and that that point we have to do a point of inflection so what does it look like negative means we start from down here so we're sketching this way so we're going to go through here then when we get to this point we do that point of inflection kind of curve right so let's do some examples with solving x to the power 4 minus 125 x what can we do we take x out and we're left with that so that x is equal to 0 and x cubed minus 125 equals to 0 so cube root that we get 5 example 6 solve for 3x to the power 4 minus 27x squared we can take the 3 and x squared out so we're left with x squared minus 9 and now here x is equal to 0 and here x squared minus 9 is difference of 2 squared so 3 and negative 3 example 7 solve for that that looks pretty scary but remember take the highest common factor out and it'll look a lot more simple so x squared take x squared out so we have that so x is equal to zero for that part in this part two numbers that add to five so multiply to ten and add to seven which is five times two so two and five so our x values are negative two for that bracket and negative five example eight sketch f of x where f of x is x equals power 4 and g of x equals 9x squared so let's see what it looks like we know x of to the power 4 is the quartic with that flat bottom of a turning point and g of x is our normal parabola that looks something like that we can see from this rough sketch that we need to find the intercepts so let's do that so where they are the same so f of x is x to the 4 equals 9x squared bring the 9x squared to the left find the highest common factor which is x squared now we have x equals 0 that's where the turning point are and then difference of 2 squared means x equals plus or minus 3 so now we can um, write down that where f, is, sorry, f of x is equal to g of x then we have the three intercepts 0, 3 and negative 3 so 0 negative 3 and 3 and we can substitute into any of the equation to find the y value so if i put negative 3 into to the power 4 i'll get positive 81 and if we put 3 into x to the power 4 i will also get 81. now the question asked you instead solve for f of x is less than g of x how would you solve for that so you look at the f of x value so the black line and you say when is that black line less than or equal to the red line and we can see it's between this point and that point so if they ask you to solve for one less than the other you would find the intercepts and then, then you'll find which line is less and then you would write well it happens in the domain of negative three to three and because it's equal i've left the brackets as square thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye